Happy Black History Month to all my brothers, sisters, and subscribers. Yes, I do see some new faces and hello. As you already know, black hair plays a major and crucial role in passed down generations. Did you know that slaves used to hide grains of rice inside their braids just so they wouldn't go hungry as they fought for freedom? Let that sink in. If you're part of the natural hair community or not, my name is Aaliyah and welcome to the family. This is as always Aaliyah where we always keep it real. Please like, subscribe, share, hit the bell, whatever you want to do that makes you feel comfortable, you do it because I post awesome content about hair, health, beauty, and ways to get money. So please keep watching. <laughs> first hairstyle is for Maya Angelou, a singer, dancer, civil rights activist. She often was spotted in traditional head wraps. Our head wraps are now a celebrated expression of style and identity, but it wasn't always. She was best known for her writings, I Know Why the Cage Bird Sings. Did you know that Maya traveled the world? She even met Malcolm X while living in Ghana. Maya returned to the US to help Malcolm only to hear he was assassinated. Despite his death, Angelo continued working with the civil rights movement by raising funds for Martin Luther King Jr. The King was murdered on her birthday for those who don't know. She was the first black woman to write a screenplay for a major film release and reached her goal to the direct a film called Down in the Delta. The cherry on top, Maya Angelou was awarded the Medal of Freedom by President Barack Obama in 2011. This award is distinguished as the highest civilian honor in the United States. To Maya Angelou, happy Black History Month. While we're talking about activists, my next tribute goes to Angela Davis. Angela Davis is an activist, a scholar, and a writer. She's a strong advocate for the oppressed. That's us. She has authored several books, including Women, Culture, and Politics. Angela proudly wore an afro while fighting for the civil rights movement. She joined the U.S. Communist Party, and she was jailed for charges that related to a prison break. Angela Davis was born in 1944, and she grew up in a neighborhood in Alabama that was nicknamed Dynamite Hill due to the many black homes who were bombed by the Ku Klux Klan. As a teenager, she organized interracial study groups, but they were often broken up by police. Angela was a graduate from the University of California. During this time, she associated with the Black Panthers, baby. She taught as a professor at the University of California until 2008. Angela Davis is most known for her involvement in the politically charged murder case in the 1970s. And Angela Davis was a featured speaker at the Women's March during Donald Trump's inauguration. To Angela Davis, happy Black History Month. It wouldn't even be right if we did not pay tribute to this next black queen who started natural hair products. I'm going to give you guys five seconds to pause this video and comment below who you think I'm talking about. Who started, that's your hint, hair products. Now, if you guessed, da -da -da -da, Madam C.J. Walker, you are right. Sarah Breedlove, better known as Madam C.J. Walker, was an entrepreneur, philanthropist, and activist. She was born in 1867. My mom was born in 1967. Madam C.J. Walker was born 100 years before my mother. Okay, so despite all that, she worked in the cotton picking fields with her sister in Louisiana. Like any boss would do, she seeked her way out of poverty. In 1889, she moved to Missouri to be a laundress, and she also was a cook. Now, this is where things get interesting. Struggling financially, facing hair loss, and the feeling of strain due to all the physical labor, Walker's life took a dramatic turn in 1904. 
CJ moved to Colorado where she married Joseph Walker. That same year, she launched her own natural hair products solely for African American women just like you and me. Madam Walker's wonderful hair grower. Six years later, she moved to Indianapolis just to build, just to build a factory. The factory was called Walker Manufacturing Company. And this all happened like in the early 1900s where nobody really liked black people. So remember everything she's probably been going through. She employed over 40,000 African Americans. I did some digging and I found out that her daughter continued her legacy. Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture dropped exclusively at Sephora, according to this article from 2016. Fun fact, Sundial is the parent company of CJ Walker Beauty Culture, Nubian Heritage, and Shea Moisture. They are all owned by the same parent company. So you might see a fun review of Madam CJ's Walker Beauty line right here on As Always Aaliyah, since I did not know this was here. Madam CJ Walker, happy Black History Month. The fourth tribute doesn't even need an introduction. I have read her books, I've traveled to her hometown in Chicago, and I have supported this individual for their entire time in the White House. Yes, I am referring to THE Michelle Obama, a phenomenal woman. Michelle LaVon Robinson Obama is an American lawyer, a university administrator, writer, and was the first lady of the United States. Michelle is often spotted and photographed wearing her natural hair. It looks like a twist out and sis did a good job. <laughs> From 2009 to 2017, she is married to my president, Barack Obama. As the first lady, Michelle focused her attention on social issues such as poverty, healthy living, and education. Her memoir, Becoming, which I personally recommend, in her 2018 memoir, Becoming, discusses the experiences that shaped her. From her childhood in Chicago to the years living in the White House, Michelle was born in 1964. She lived with her mother, father, and brother, who was often mistaken for twins. She followed her brother's footsteps and attended Princeton University. Michelle Obama continued her education at Harvard Law School and started as a lawyer. That's where she met her boo, Barack Obama, um, who was only a summer intern at the time at her law firm. She ditched her corporate law job and worked hand in hand with the mayor of Chicago. From there, she became an executive director in Chicago for a nonprofit leadership training program. In 1996, she was the associate dean of students at Chicago University, developing the school's first community service program. 2005, she was appointed vice president for the community of external affairs at the University of Chicago Medical Center. This was her last job before she became first lady, y'all. From there, she stood by her husband's side when he was elected the 44th president of the United States of America. 2012, the team went into office for a second term, defeating Mitt Romney. Michelle is most known for her speeches. So good that people are stealing them. Let's watch. Rock and I were raised with so many of the same values. Like, you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond, that you do what you say you're gonna do. My parents impressed on me the values that you work hard for what you want in life. That your word is your bond and you do what you say and keep your promise. In the latest news, Michelle and Barack announced they signed a multi-year deal to produce a series and film for Netflix. American Factory was released on August 21st, 2019. I actually didn't even know. I actually did not get the chance to watch it yet. If you guys already watched the Michelle and Barack um, American Factory on Netflix, please comment below and let me know. Don't give away any details because I am going to watch it, but let me know if you guys saw it, please. To Michelle Obama, happy Black History Month. I'm not even going to allow you guys to guess who the fifth and final tribute is because it's you. 
Yeah, it's you. Whether you know it or not, you are a part of history. I mean, right now, in the making. My final tribute is for every last single African American who has been racially profiled, who has been targeted by police, who has been called the N-word, who was not accepted because of the color of their skin. This video is for every black man and black woman murdered by police brutality. We pay tribute to those who stood up for their rights when they were told to sit down and for those who sat down when they were told to stand up. This is for those who didn't get the job because they were black, who were picked and teased on at school because of their nappy hair. If it wasn't for those who came before us and fought for us, there wouldn't be a me and there wouldn't be a you. It's unfortunate how focused America is on color. Just imagine if we were all truly equal. To you, happy Black History Month. My name is Aaliyah. This is As Always Aaliyah, where we always keep it real. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.